What is up, folks? I am your friendly Canadian Mark Leota here, and we are back with another Let's Play of another game. And this is a Let's Play that, uh, well, it's a uh, bit of technically an old game, but at the same time, it's also kind of a new one because, as the uh, title implies here, uh, this is Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe, which means there's some new content in this, as well as some new copy abilities. Uh, that were not present in the original game on the Nintendo Wii. Now, uh, of course, I did LP the Wii version of this a few years ago, and that was actually a bit of a whim that I did that, and there's a bit of a story actually behind that, and I'll uh, explain more in detail uh, as we play. But first, I would like to acknowledge the uh, guest that I have with me for this uh, Let's Play, at least uh, for this portion of it, which is Video Game Fan 1999. Hello, everyone. Yeah, and of course, uh, Video Game Fan 1999 here, uh, he did an, uh, a playing of the Nintendo Wii version of this not too long ago. That's correct. Alright. Alright, so let's uh, check options here. Control settings, online. Nah, I think I'm good with the uh, control settings. So, as you can see, we've got Mary Magaland. That is the uh, minigame mode. Uh, we can't go there uh, just yet, so let's go ahead and begin with our main story mode, shall we? Now, let's begin. And, oh, this is such a beautiful cutscene. Now, of course, there, uh, now I did uh, drop a demo of this game on the eShop a couple of weeks ago or so, but I didn't bother uh, with looking at that, mainly because uh, I already played this on the Wii uh, in, two, in early 2020, like I mentioned. So I pretty much already have an idea of what I'm getting into. So for that reason, I honestly felt playing the demo wasn't necessary in this case. That is a good point, and uh, I've had a perfect return to Dreamland for a couple of years now, and I do have to think it's a very fantastic game. Yeah, it is. It is a great game. And they're all chasing after the ship. <laughs> go, Kirby, go! <laughs> yeah, go after it. <laughs> Oh, Kirby and his friends are curious about this. <laughs> oh, there we go. So it looks like Magalore's missing parts of his ship. Yeah, as you're going through uh, the worlds, uh, you gotta basically go for each of them. People have different cars. Mm hmm. So, really, the uh, main part of the story mode isn't really. Hasn't really changed too much from the Wii version, but as I said, there are some new copy abilities in this game that you'll uh, be seeing. I know a difference with this new version is that uh, the graphics are much different. That they are. Uh, ooh, adventure with Magalore. Help me hand during your adventure. Helper Magalore is here to help. He'll give you potions that double your stamina and can save you from falling down holes. This will also add to the auto swallow for Kirby. That is a new feature in this version. It was This was not present, of course, in the uh, Wii game. Uh, would you like for Helper Magalore to help while you play? Uh, I would say no. Uh, 
You know what? I'll turn him off for right now, because the first world is uh, usually fairly easy. Yeah, that's absolutely right here. Uh, it's basically designed to make it easy uh, for a lot of players. Yeah. So, I'm going to have him off for now, but maybe for some of the later, uh, more difficult worlds, stages, then maybe I'll turn him on. That's a good idea. All right. All right. Oh, all right. And get out of here. <laughs> oh, and our, there's our cutter ability. <laughs> get rid of these uh, wild bees. And of course, the A makes, button makes Kirby float in the air. Alright, so, uh, at the beginning of this, I mentioned a little, uh, story, uh, in terms of, uh, what led to my whim, on a whim, uh, LP of, uh, the original Wii version of this game. And actually, the day that I had gotten that, that was the day that we had had my funeral for my last, ow, for my last, uh, grandparent that I still had left at that time. And, uh, basically after everything was done, uh, I had needed, like, a, some, a little something to pick me up, and I'm like, okay, well, this uh, game looks pretty cool, uh, so I ended up picking that up, and that's actually one of the best Wii games that I've ever played, as it turns out. Kirby's Return to oh, Dream. Nice. Yep. So, yeah, so, ow. So that is, uh, your story, basically, behind, uh, behind that. Alright, uh, anything up here that I can pick up? No, I already got that up. Those are good games, too. I say Kirby's MCR movie is another pretty good Kirby game as well. Alright, go through the gate. And there's our first energy sphere. There are 120 of these, of course. And uh, these... Uh, they're basically like the uh, power stars that you find in Super Mario 64. But unlike uh, Super Mario 64, you actually don't need to get all of the uh, uh, gears for, uh, for progression. Like, you need to get as many energy spheres... I mean, you still want to try to get as many energy spheres as you can, because the more of those you get, the more uh, sub-games you'll be able to unlock uh, in Magd on uh, Magdalore's ship. But I personally am not going to try for all 120 of these, though. I'm just more focused on uh, beating the levels, but I obviously want to still get as many of them as I can. It's how I do it as well. There's something that might be uh, just too tough for me. Get out of here. While this Ultra Sword power up is, of course, uh, really cool, it's actually one of the best power ups in the game, honestly, in my opinion. It is, it does, however, have a limited use, so you do have to be very careful with uh, how often you use it. I definitely agree that the Ultra Sword is 
definitely one of the best powers ever uh, in the game. And I do agree, it's a brewing bug, a super good use. And not only that, the Ultra Sword is actually a Kirby's final smash in a Smash 4 and a Super Smash Ultimate. But of course, Smash 4 was a release on the 3DS and the EU. Mm -hmm. And of course, Smash is, uh, like, it's pretty much the, uh, oh, whoops, I almost fell there. It's pretty much the, uh, best fighting game ever. No, don't get me wrong. Yeah, that's what I heard when, um, the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate first became, uh, the best selling fighting game of all time. But better than uh, Street Fighter 2. Yeah, now, Mortal Kombat... Uh, it's a gr it's a great fighting game too, and actually, from what I heard, they just recently announced a brand new uh, Mortal Kombat game in the uh, state of play that uh, Sony had, uh, like uh, just recently. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm yep. not sure about Mortal Kombat. I'm not so sure yet about playing this boy. Like, I do have Mortal Kombat 11 on the Switch. But I don't know if I'm going to get Mortal Kombat 12. Like, I might not because I don't have a PS5 yet. And if it turns out that that new one is a PlayStation exclusive, then I would pretty much have to get a PS5 if I want to play it. But, we'll see. A kind of game that I'm interested in trying, what you say, but it's the uh, packet. Now that is another great one. Why I'm interested in Tekken is because of Kazuya, who is a part of the uh, Fighters Pass 2 and the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, is from that series. Very nice. Since I was talking about uh, Street Fighter 2 a moment ago, I happen to have uh, multiple versions of it on the Wii Virtual Console. Nice. Basically, I have a Street Fighter 2 World Warrior for the SNES, and then I have Street Fighter 2 Turbo Hyper Fighting for the SNES, and I have to have a Super Street Fighter 2 The New Challengers, but I happen to have two versions of that game, which are for the SNES and Sega Genesis, and then I have a Street Fighter Alpha 2 for the SNES, and then I have Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition for the Turbo Graphics 16. And I have Street Fighter 2 Special Champion Edition for the Sega Genesis. So. That is definitely very cool. And some other kinds of fighting games I do have on the Virtual Console are ones you probably might not have known very well of. Those are basically a uh, Fatal Fury 1 and 2 for the Neo Geo, along with the King of Fire Dining 4 for the Neo Geo. Very nice. Oh, I've got a Leaf ability. Now, I don't know if that was present in the Wii version or if it's brand new for this game. I want to say that it's a new one. Huh? This was in the Wii version or not? It was, I think. Alright. Well, well, again, it's been a few years since I played the Wii version, so I don't remember if this ability was in there or not. But that is something I'm going to have to uh, look, for, look up for myself. Oh, uh, another fight game I do have on the Virtual Console, by the way, is uh, Virtual Fighter 2 from the Sega Dragon. Very nice. Now that game I haven't really played too much of because uh, I don't really like how the game play plays uh, out right here because uh, when you're playing it, it goes by a little bit slow but don't know why it's like that. It's probably, it's probably designed that way. I don't know, but I 
still think it's a pretty good binder, but it's certainly not one of the best for me. Nine stars. <laughs> Come in handy. But faithfully, I passed the checkpoint, so all good. So that was what I should have done there. I should have dropped it there, and then I wouldn't have fallen into that pit. But that's okay. I should point out, by the way, um, when Vader Fury 1 and 2 being a couple of fighters, I do have on the virtual console. I should mention in those games that uh, Terry Bogart is a fighter in those games, and he was part of uh, Fighters Pass 1 and uh, Super Spot Bros. all of them. Nice. Okay. I I have heard that uh, when Terry was first announced for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for DLC, a lot of people didn't know uh, who he was, but um, I was one of those people out there that didn't know who that character was. That played the Fatal Fury games. Nice. Oh, that's only the uh, first gear for this stage. Okay. Even Terry is uh, also in the Game of Fires 94 as well. But uh, Terry is actually uh, on the daily team for that game. Oh, nice. Makes sense. Alright, I got back my uh, life that I lost. That's good news. And, oh! Oh, there's another gear right there. Cool. And let's get these stars. Beam. Nice. Oh, oh, boss time. All right, Kirby, use your magic beam attack. Let's get up. As you can probably tell by how I uh, shouted that, uh, I am uh, pretty excited for the upcoming Pokemon Presents on Monday. Even though I'm not very uh, into Pokemon, I 
Well, I know one thing that's definitely going to be shown is uh, Scarlet and Violet DLC. That's pretty much a given. But what I'm hoping for is like for the old mainline games to be uh, added to Switch Online. That would be pretty cool. Oh yeah, uh, then that would be uh, nice to see for Pokemon fans out there. Yep. Like, specifically the Gen 3 ones, because then I would have a much easier way being able to LP those games. Yeah, that would be great for you, if, if that does happen. That it would. Well, uh, oh, Mary Magdalene is now open. Well, I think uh, we'll check that out a little bit later, but we will continue on in the next episode.